Hey guys, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com and I'm here to give you a quick update about the 3.0 patch that just got released today, uh, Wednesday, November 11th. Um, there are a couple of things that they fixed in terms of uh, improvements, uh, such as um, you can do things now, uh, like toy box farming is a little bit more stable in terms of uh, you know all the crops like not collecting, uh, fix some issues with uh, certain um, achievements, certain missions, um, you know, like characters were falling through the my interior floors. Um, matchmaking is so much better in Flynn's Arcade. It works a lot better as well as multiplayer inside of toy boxes. That's also been uh, punched up a bit. Um, and um, one of the... Uh, so that's, you know, a handful of things. And you can visit us, DisneyInfinityCodes.com, to get a full look at all the stuff that the patch improved. But some of the things... Uh, the patch did was also add some stuff uh, particularly some toy box features and so just thought we'd take a quick look at some of the cool stuff it added first off and foremost the uh, boss generator now has all kinds of cool new bosses you can uh, spawn inside um, your uh, your playset um, or toy box whatever you're building Essentially, they they just added uh, the uh, bosses that you could face inside of the toy box takeover, and that includes uh, Syndrome, Davy Jones, Hector Barbosa, Hulk, Ronan, Green Goblin, and Venom. Uh, they are huge, they're mean, uh, and they're a ton of fun to uh, take on. And so now you can uh, diversify uh, your toy box builds and throw in some uh, some other fun uh, villain boss battles, uh, and not just be stuck to the the three. Um, Star Wars ones we had. Uh, so uh, the other thing they did is add um, some new townspeople and critters to the friend generator, which was very kind of them. So now um, we can... Uh what we can do is just to take a look at all the list now of stuff is um, let's logic connect into this uh, trigger so we can take a look at the uh, the long list of stuff we can now spawn using the friend generator we'll connect it to here and so um, so we've got uh, the sports town people we've got uh, critters And, uh, there's tons and tons and tons of critters. There are so many to unlock, it's not even funny. Um, so there's a, mm -hmm. a, a, a nice long list now of critters that you can spawn in the friend generator. There's all of them. Oop, got an email. Uh, and uh, let's see. Um, and so now you can add random townsperson in there. And um, so now there's just some new... Um, more townspeople and critters to add in. Uh, I don't know exactly which ones they added uh, versus the ones we had prior. Um, and then of course there's, um, you know, there's all these uh, characters from um, from each individual playset. So you know they've added some stuff in there. Um, another thing they added with the patch is that you can now take a rail target um, and um, add it to a path connection so that you can have a nice little moving target. Uh, which is super cool that is going to make for some fun toy box building um, and uh, and finally and what I am most excited about I've got to say uh, it, because this thing annoys the heck out of me sometimes is that um, hop into the properties of this guy and boom hidden now you can hide your uh, your starting point, which is nice. I like that a lot because uh, that always gets to my OCD just a little bit while I'm building inside the toy box. But uh, so there you go, guys. Um, there is some of the uh, the new improvements to uh, the toy box. Um, as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, visit us at DisneyInfinityCodes.com for all of the patch notes and um, enjoy enjoy your new building with all your new villains and. And, and rail path connections and townspeople and critters. Woo. Thanks for watching, guys.